Hey guys, because I got a lot of comments asking about this spiral cutting setup, so I decided to make this video. But I learned pretty much all of these from watching YouTube, from the internet, so there are something might not do. And I'm not good at explaining stuff as my English sucks, so please consider this is just my train of thought. First, to understand what is a spiral, uh, we have here a circle, uh, a perfect circle, and a center. A circle is a curve that traced down by a moving point around a fixed point that we call a center and the distance from it to the center is constant and we call that distance is radius and when the point is moving around a center if the radius not remain the same but keep changing like getting smaller or bigger Then we have a curve that called a spiral with a center and a pitch. A pitch is a distant measure from here to here in a life from the center or a distance of moving point at one complete turn or 360 degrees and in three dimensions we have another type of spiral which call helical and that point instead of moving around a center in a plane or in a flat surface but now it moving in a curved surface and around a center line actually a group of many center and it's moving with constant distance to a center line and constant angle uh, measure with a plane that perpendicular with a center line. Um, hope that makes sense. So all the distances from here to here, uh, here to here, or are equal. And all of the angle measure with a plane perpendicular with a center line, which this one and all of these angles are equal as well. There are a few types of spiral, but the one we're talking about is a spiral with constant pitch, which means all of the distances from here to here, here to here, or here to here, are equal. So a thread is actually a helical or spiral with a specific number of a pitch. So machining a spiral is actually machining thread. For example, uh, to machining thread on a lathe, um, on a lathe we have a spindle that turning and a gearbox that transmit the rotation from the headstock from the spindle to the lead screw and when the lead screw turning we engage the half nut and the lead screw will drive the 
the carriage move. And the moving distance of the carriage at the spindle turning one complete turn or 360 degrees that moving distance is a thread pitch um, so to machining any thread we need to know a pitch right so we have to shifting all of all of those levers to actually changing a gear radio inside a gearbox so the radio rotation from the headstock to the lead screw will match specific number of a pitch that we want to cut so Machining a spiral on a lathe is actually possible, but you know it's so much easier with CNC but on manual lathe uh, Instead of moving a carriage, we have to move a cross line So that requires a specific gearbox and I don't want to mess up my my lathe So as you can see this setup is exactly the same as a lathe. We have a spindle, a cutter, a gearbox and a lead screw. So when we turn the handle, the head turning and the gearbox is transmits the rotation from the head to the lead screw then is dry the table moving
there are a few things you have to keep in mind that first the universal joy isn't a constant speed joy so you have to set it uh, properly or your spiral might be end up like this Second is uh, when you adjust the width of a pitch, only adjust with the the x axis, the moving axis, not the y, because when we moving the y, we actually changing a center of a spiral. The last is pay attention to the spinning direction of the the head and the lead screw. Uh, the reason I didn't make a video about this this build because I was trying to finish the chuck as quick as possible, and you know it's much better to make stuff without filming. And I just built it from all kind of scrap metal around the shop and um, you see a lot of gear here but actually it's just uh, 140 radio from the the handle to the dry shaft here because most of the dividing head or rotary table has built in 140 radio which means when we cranking the handle 40 turns we we get one turn up the head so um, this setup here is when I crank the handle 40 turns I get one turn here and one turn here then three of these gear is are just the radio of a spiral pitch that I want to cut also I made it like this, um, you know, because I can easily changing all of the gears in the future if, you know, I need to make some weird looking parts. Like I said, uh, even I'm pretty confident with what I know, but, you know, remember to double check any information you, you watch or read on the internet. So yeah, hopefully you guys will find something helpful and as always, thanks for watching.